Hey folks, last time we finished the game. <laughs> we're done, sort of, but we're not done because there's definitely more. I mean, there's at least, like, I'm pretty sure going through that other exit in World C is another ending. It's probably, it's, I mean, I'm almost certain it's supposed to be like the easier ending to get to. Like, there's a pretty standard structure here, which is uh, there's an ending that you get to not by necessarily having done everything, just by having done a decent amount from throughout the game and it unlocks an ending and you can go there um, like fairly early. And then there's the second ending that I found, which is the like, well, you need to have done all the red puzzles. So it's like kind of an extra ending for having done the harder bits of the game, pretty much. Um, like, I don't think it's always true that the red puzzles are always harder, but they kind of are because they're the, they're the key to doing the tower and, yeah, all that stuff. Um, and then potentially there's something for doing 100%. That would be a pretty typical structure. Or there's, like, some other secret. Like, we still don't know exactly what we're collecting the Grey Sigils for. So, we'll see. Um... But it might just be a case of once you've got them all, the ending changes in some way. Anyway, so where do we go back to? Oh, there's no continue. <laughs> I guess I just restore from the previous one. Once again, you're going to see that I'm recording this way in advance. Like, I'm pretty sure it's probably March by the time these videos are going out. Is that true? I guess it would be if I have, like... 16 videos or something like that, or even 15 because February is short. Uh, yeah, it's probably probably March by now. Um, maybe not. Um, okay, so 125. I'll look up like what the total is once I think I've done everything. Current checkpoint. Well, I don't have a checkpoint. Hold on. Now you're scaring me. What does that mean? I don't have a checkpoint. I have to do this, right? Where's this gonna put me? Here. Okay. On floor five. We never unlocked floor six. How would we get. Wait, so is, does this trigger. No, there's a puzzle through here, right? Yeah, and that's where I went down to get that other star. Okay, once you go out the end of here... Okay, so basically there's just one puzzle not done. That's kind of annoying. It doesn't save right before the ending then? Ha. Huh. Sure. Sure. Does that mean I have to come and do this again? Did I get something from this? I guess I got the... Code. I didn't get a code. I just got access to the stairs. Right? In fact, there wasn't even a computer here? to look at, as far as I know. So maybe there's a hidden computer in this room that gives another code or something. I'd have to do this puzzle again, which was a nightmare and I kind of sort of stumbled into the answer. Well, I didn't stumble into it. Most of it was fine, it's just like a bunch of random things happened at the end. Um, hmm, but yeah, code for 6. So maybe there's a hidden computer that gives me that. Oh no, okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so uh, in the grey sigil places, that's giving me a three digit code. It's probably that. Okay, yes. I was just thinking about the, the, the grey sigils and what I'm getting from those areas. And I remember the boards with the, the asterisk on. That was definitely. Okay. So I probably just go to any of the computers and type whatever code in I get from there. I've got almost all of it now, so I could put that in. In fact, I've got all of it. I can just go to, I can go to any of the places and just see the board. Um, my problem is, I would like to open... Listen to me well, child. Do not ascend the tower. Sure, okay. You are not meant to go there. Sure. Your purpose lies in the Garden of Worlds. So, I wonder if the, like, the walking out the door ending is just like, ah, oh, no, you can't, you failed, basically. <laughs> you failed as an AI. Oh, I didn't realize I was so close to the ground there. It almost looks like I'd be able to... Oh, maybe I can walk on it. Ooh, I can walk on it. 
Anything hidden? No. How far can I go? When does the bird's the words start happening? Not yet, seemingly. Oh, hello. Who are you? I am finding some secrets. Beep beep. Hmm. <clears throat> Questioning doubt, conf. Keynote speech by Anne Sarabai. Questioning doubt. They say doubt everything, but I disagree. Excuse me. Started coughing. Uh, they say doubt to everything, but I disagree. Doubt is useful in small amounts, but too much of it leads to apathy and confusion. No, don't doubt everything. Question everything. That's the real trick. Yeah, that's fair. Doubt is just a lack of certainty. If you doubt everything, you'll doubt evolution, science, faith, morality, even reality itself. And you'll end up with nothing, because doubt doesn't give anything back. But questions have answers, you see. If you question everything, you'll find that a lot of what we believe is untrue, but you might also discover that some things are true. For whatever truth means. You might discover what your own beliefs are, and then you'll question them again and again, eliminating flaws, discovering lies until you get as close to the truth as you can. It's kind of interesting that... Like, I definitely have noticed some things that feel like they seeped into The Witness in some way. Like, I suspect The Witness had its themes, like, earlier. Um, but there's also other things I've noticed. Like, there's only two years between them, and The Witness was in development for, like, eight years or something. Um, so, like... But then maybe... I don't know, I don't know if Jonathan Blow was, like, playing Talos Principle early or anything like that. But other things, like, reminded me as well. Like, when I was opening the doors going up the tower, the way the, like, mechanisms move and everything, that feels very witnessy as well. I don't know if it's just a... <clears throat> maybe there were certain um, kind of aesthetics in game design that were just going around at the time and it just seeped into both games, or maybe there's a connection between the two specifically in some way. Um Questioning is a lifelong process. That That's precisely what makes it so unlike doubt. Questioning engages with reality, interrogating all it sees. Questioning leads to a constant assault on the intellectual status quo, where doubt is far more likely to lead to res resigned acceptance. After all, when the possibility of truth is doubtful, excuse the pun, why not simply play along with the most convenient lie? Partition to email. EL partition. Hi folks, this is just to let you know, for reasons of convenience and security, we've partitioned EL into two separate systems. The Talos team will be working on EL0, while the Archive team will be working on EL1. You might also notice an EL2 partition, but don't worry about that, it's just the operating system doing its thing. Okay. Him.email. H-I-M. Hey Alex, agree that we need something that will keep all the modules working together. Evaluate a final test. And I think I have the perfect solution. It's called the Holistic Integration Manager, a fancy name for something a lot like a dungeon master in pen and paper RPGs. We created it to help run some MMOs back in the day. We needed something that would be able to unite procedurally generated and user submitted content into a coherent whole so the game wouldn't become too chaotic and inconsistent. <clears throat> It's a genuine AI, somewhat limited in its ability to grow, but capable of passing and understanding text, images, audio, and even video. It takes all the information it can find, interprets it, and then builds and maintains a world based on that. It's not perfect, but we don't have a lot of time, and it would be easy to adapt the code for our purposes. Oh, scroll down. Now, like, that's one of the times you could easily miss it because it doesn't quite go down to the bottom because there's, there's a line break there. In fact, come to think of it, some of it is actually based on routines that you suggested in that paper on, but then it just does actually just end. In fact, no, it actually only scrolls down to this. That is the bottom. Uh, hold on. No, it's not. Okay, yeah, that's even higher up. Right. Well, we found something. Cool. Neat. Well, that one's the other one. It's worth checking. <clears throat> Since we found something there. Uh, it's interesting that the bird as the word doesn't start until like a while out. Somebody needs to change the audio files of the game so that it actually plays the bird as the word. <laughs> it's probably just an audio, like a file somewhere. What was that? 
Did I ever go to this? I do not remember seeing this at all. Like well, you. I have never been there. Oh, there's a star. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, now I know where the star is. Oh my gosh, that's to save me a whole bunch of trouble. <sighs> I was kind of nervous about having to explore everywhere. Okay, wait, what? So there's a blue thing. Uh, I don't have any connectors. I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing to work with here. Wait, is that a ladder that I can actually climb up? Inconsistent game things. I guess it's not a yellow ladder. I can only climb up with yellow ladders. Wait, so I need a blue source in this space? Uh, yeah, I don't go up to the... No, because once I get to the bit that actually... No, there could be blue sources on the way up. It's true. Couldn't I walk around? Yeah, I can walk around the outside of here. What was here? Did it just loop? Oh, hello, what was that? Ah, blue sauce, okay. <laughs> this is coming together. Uh, so axe is required. And a thing. Oh, which I can just steal from one of the puzzles. Okay, I think that's the goal. I think I stole something from one of the puzzles before, didn't I? Um, axe comes from here. No, this is B. C's over there, okay. Alright, okay. <laughs> well, thank goodness I just stumbled into the star, that's nice. How did I not see that building before? I'm pretty sure I walked around. Did I see the source? Because like now I'm sort of thinking maybe I saw that before. Like I have a vague recollection of actually seeing that wooden thing. I clearly did not commit it to memory properly. Okay. Uh, axe. Where's my axe? Here. Yeah. yeah. It's a good job they made that thing red so it stands out. Okay, so now once we've got all the stars, I can open up. Right, no, because I... Okay, I'm getting confused. No, am I getting confused? Yes, I'm getting confused. So I haven't ever been in B's star world, right? Because I need the stars in order to get in. Yes, okay. I've been, I, I think it's B, or is it C that I haven't been in? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Don't remember. Okay, so I think I'm doing this, getting a thing out of a puzzle, I guess. Oh, here it is. Burp. Keep expecting it to be like all the way around, unless there's like another one symmetric to that. There is not, as far as I can tell. No, okay. I think I'm extracting one from a puzzle. So let's go have a look, let's see if we can find one. Hmm. I don't quite remember which puzzles had the, the like capacity for extraction. Help! Come on. There we go. Which one was this? Okay. It has connectors. Is, did it open up a passage around the back? Because that could be my like way of removing something. Where was the exit? Where was the exit? Or maybe there wasn't one because we went. Uh, no, there is. There's a way out there. Okay. Is there just a thing I can grab? There is. Okay. That's that sorted then, right? Because I can just walk out. Behind here. That's kind of sneaky. Has that always been there? Maybe. Huh. It's not like a gate that opened when I solved the puzzle. Uh, and then I jump. Yep, okay. Do I need more than one? Maybe not, because it's like there. I can just stand over here somewhere. And hopefully that concrete won't be in the way. 
Ah, that concrete's in the way. Oh no, it's not the concrete that's in the way, it's... It's the fact it's in a thing. Oh, I might need another one then. Almost certainly gonna need another one, right? Unless I can walk like right out there. Okay, I need another one. Are there two in that? Oh, do I need you? There might be two in that puzzle. I'm going to take you with me and just bring you back if... Um, like you might also help me get another one from another puzzle if that's what needs to happen. But you might also help me get one from... Ah, I can't wait for you. From the first puzzle. <clears throat> but put your fingers through the gap. Ah! <laughs> Not super safe. Although there are lots of, like, relatively unsafe elevators in the world. Like a lot of old buildings have, like, apartment, like, flat, like, buildings with flats in them have, um, especially in, wait, where was I when I was in a, where I stayed in a building with a elevator in the middle? Was I in Italy? Was that in Italy? I was by myself. Uh, yeah, I think that wasn't it. Yeah, it was. And there was just like an elevator in the middle, but it was very like, mm, I don't think I'll ever want to use that elevator. <laughs> just like a platform. With the mechanisms all like visible, which is cool, but... <laughs> Okay, yeah, there's another one there. Ah, okay, now I'm gonna tip them both by down. No, I just gave myself more work. All right, um, we're coming back up afterwards, I guess. Let's take the elevator down so it's there and I don't have to call it and wait. Um, what? 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 Uh, why don't I do that when I was going up? And calling it down and all that stuff. So, uh. Uh, I'm misled by doubt. Oh, hello, you were saying stuff. Oops. Is it the same stuff as before, maybe? Oh yeah, doubt. We just talked about doubt. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I guess we don't get to change it. Go. Alright. It made the noise of me pressing it, but didn't actually press it. Uh. Oh, that's here. Okay. Ah. Let's walk into walls. Sure. I wonder what that does to my playtime. Does it, does it speed up the clock? Probably? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. This should be fine, right? Because that's pretty much in the open. Ta-da! Hey! I got the final star! I didn't have to search for it. Holy moly. Um, Okie dokie. That means... We go to B? I don't actually remember which one it is. I'm going to guess B. Did I open C like immediately? Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Do not know. Okay. Uh, over here somewhere. Is this the star door? It's the star door. Are you open? You are not open. Okay, this is the one. Cool. Uh, I hate those ones. This is never going to work now. Okay. Um, this could work. Just tease. Hmm, it's not going to. And that has to go there, so no, that's not working. 
this is an awkward shape. Okay. <clears throat> nope. Uh, maybe. Not quite, but some variation on this I could believe would work. Like just messing around with these shapes over here. No. Nope. Well, that would have to be that, right? And then we'd have to do this. Yeah. So extract you as well. Do this. That's just making things worse. Yeah, there's no way to do this. Squares are the worst. That's just a general statement about squares. Um, hmm. Definitely don't want to do something like that. You could go on the top, maybe? What'd that do for me? Um, you'd have to go there. No, uh, ooh, I can't do it now. Right. Um, I can go there. I can go there. I can go there. Oh gosh, okay, I've put all the T's in, now I've got to deal with these. That actually works, okay. <laughs> sure. I'll take it. Here we go. Hello. Okay, eight's the middle number. I did not write down the other ones. Eight is the middle number. Okay, that's almost certainly taking us to full six. It's around here. That. I'm going to say this is the most beautiful place. Where is it? This is the most beautiful spot. <laughs> sure. It's just a wall. I mean, it's a cool wall. It's covered in hieroglyphics and stuff. Rangitet, Daesh Duo. A medical journal has published a startling new theory about last year's sudden shocking extinction of the orangutan. See our award-winning video of the last orangutan at this link. They suggest that the virus responsible was not a new mutation, but a very old one, an ancient virus buried until now in high-latitude permafrost, set free by global warming. The virus may have plagued the ancestors of the modern great apes more than 100,000 years ago. Several important questions remain unanswered, including... More importantly, the study suggests that based on example, uh, based on samples taken from locations around the globe, the blah, 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 incubation period may blah, blah, blah. If you like this article, you may also like how to really avoid heart attacks. You won't believe what's living under this rock. Top 10 amazing science facts. Oscar's nip slip explained by physics video. How to easily beat any infection. Okay, so we're reading BuzzFeed um, and we shouldn't trust anything this is saying. Um, <clears throat> Blake Archive 793.html. I don't know if BuzzFeed is the example anymore. Maybe maybe there's a new example of that kind of trash into that content. Uh, Plate11.png. The ancient poets animated all sensible objects with gods or geniuses, calling them by the names and adorning them with the properties of woods, rivers, mountains, lakes, cities, nations, and whatever their enlarged and numerous senses could perceive. And particularly, they studied and particularly, they studied the genius of each city and country, placing it under its mental deity, till a system was formed which some took advantage of and enslaved the vulgar by attempting to realize or abstract the mental deities from their objects. Thus began priest priesthood, <clears throat> choosing forms of worship from poetic tales. And at length they announced that the gods had ordered such things. That's why their letters missing. So. Thus men forgot that all deities reside in the human breast. Okay. Usernames that email. It's uh, working now. Each iteration is assigned its own unique name, drawn randomly from the database. Wow, genius feature. <laughs> At the moment, that's a database of online gaming handles, which does sound a bit odd, but I honestly don't think we should spend more time in this. We have unique identifiers, so we're fine. More than that is luxury we can't afford. If we, could, if we should happen to have everything else finished on time, I'll go back and generate a new database with more appropriate names. Right now, it just can't be a priority, George. Okay, that's why they didn't change. Got an image. It's the elevator. Well, they're all, they all look lit up. Except... 
guess maybe six is darker than the rest. But then these all look better. I'm sure, the elevator. Okay. Ah, do the names of the... Well, that's kind of interesting, right? Let me go back to that. So the file name was... Oh, okay. Okay. Number six, so floor six. And then there's an N in the middle. Um, is it always an N or... I've just written up my board. Um, is it always an N or is there something else? And like there's a separate code I need by looking at the image file names. Or is it just like N star 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 N, N for number or something, maybe? All right, let's poke around here a little bit. I guess I'm not expecting stars. Oh, in fact, the star thing is gone entirely because I used up all my stars, I guess. Like the star counter at the top. Okay, I guess we're going here. Like these can be super simple and can be super tricky. So, I don't know what to expect. Um, there's a blue source. Where's the sigil? Through here? Yes, okay which requires blue. Understood. Uh, I think I know exactly what I'm doing. If I can get you. How do I get you? Oh, uh, you help me. Where are you? La la la, la 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 Should be enough. <coughs> Come on, friend. Okay. We bring this out. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what we're doing. This is a very simple one. Da -da -da. You do this, you do this. Uh. 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 Try not get, to get in the way. Stand here for a while. La la la, la la la, I'll do. Where is it? There it is. This, it's just the make two connections trick again. We're sort of repeating ourselves a little bit. Think. Oh no, maybe it's not. Maybe there's more to it. Ah, they're on opposite sides. Okay. Okay, you got me. There's more to this. So... What would fix this? If they were just on the same side as each other? Hold on, when you're here, you're there. So they would both break. Maybe it's just a case of positioning them slightly differently. Like a bit further away. I think that would, yeah, I think that might be all it is really. Like maybe we bring this as far this way as possible. That should be fine, right? No, that's not fine. Yep. Okay, uh, and then stand here for a bit. La 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 Okay, you can go further this direction, or can you? Then you could go here. Ah, and then you're only being broken by one. That kind of seems useful. Maybe I should have done that for both of them. Oh, it opens. Okay, there we go. That'll do. Yeah, I think I can have a better solution if you were back here as well. And then we're just avoiding that one entirely. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Whatever, that works. Um, <clears throat> I think we should leave that there. I think we should finish the rest off next time. And then maybe if we get them both done, we might be able to go and try out floor six. When am I doing the like the normal ending? They like walk out the door in World C ending. I guess at the end, which is definitely the wrong uh, order. But I'm gonna find out what's at floor six first. I think that's the that's my goal. All right. <clears throat> uh, I shall see you next time. We'll do that puzzle and that puzzle. See you then. Goodbye.